without further ado, I'd like to hand you over to World Ed, who will be discussing how they uh, are currently using, uh, offering dual diplomas at their school using Edmentum's courseware product. We have with us uh, Juliana. Juliana is the principal of World Ed. Hi, Juliana. Hello. Uh, we also have Stephanie, who is the vice principal. And then we have Camila, who is going is, to, is one of our teachers there in grade seven, I believe, who will be take, talking to you a little bit more how, how she uses it. Uh, no further ado, I'll hand you over. Thank you very much. Hello, um, I'm Juliana. I, I'm so glad to be here with all of you today. I am the principal and co-founder of World Ed School. And I'd like to thank Ed Benton to invited us to share with everyone our great experience with the system and the success of our school. So before talking, talking about World Ed, of course, I would like to talk a little bit about my background. I, I'm a, I am an educator and I've been working with international students since 2008. And I'm married to another educator uh, who in 2017 uh, founded with me uh, World Ed in Florida. And we had a dream and a goal that would be promoting international school to remove the boundaries of students across the globe. Um, and uh, today, we are glad to be here and after uh, some years to share with you what happened. So um, let's start about our journey. Um, as I said, uh, we were founded in, in, in Florida in 2017 with the mission of removing the boundaries to students across the globe. And because we wanted so bad to be international school, we wanted to have a curriculum based in some elements. One of the main elements would be developing students' critical thinking um, and guiding them to have international mindset. We always wanted to raise global awareness in, to our students. So one of the bases of our curriculum is to develop students' communication skills. We want them to interact to other students from not only World Ed, but also students from different schools uh, throughout projects and hands-on experience. We want them to celebrate the different cultures and we want them to seek their educational goals. Yes, because each student has a different uh, way of learning. They have different educational goals. But we have a challenge. In the challenge we had was to offer and find a system that would be flexible, that would be engaging to our students, that would have an easy uh, user experience and moreover that would allow us to personalize uh, the, the material with our goals. So um, and today we're here to talk about the system that supported us throughout this this time. So now I invited uh, Stephanie who is our vice principal and guidance counselor to share with you a little bit about the, the LMS, uh, the success of the program and how we are happy uh, being part of the Edmental group of schools. Thank you, Juliana. If you wanna go ahead and we will go to the next slide. Okay, so Juliana uh, talked a little bit, addressed a little bit what our goals were and what the challenges were. Finding some uh, LMS and coursework that was flexible, that allowed us to sort of break down those borders and also engage students creatively. So we worked and looked at several different uh, methods of courseware and Edmentum far and away blew us away. Um, they offered us all of the different areas that we were interested in. So as Juliana says in this quote, we have clear content, we have flexibility, we are allowed via this LMS to actually pick and choose different elements of the courses that we want. We can add explanatory videos, which we do. 
we can add and create our own elements of curriculum. Many of our unit activities, in fact, all of them um, are ones of our creation or ones that we have uh, created in conjunction with Admentum's coursework. We have even developed, to my thrill, an honors course, an honors English course, and we were allowed to upload that independently through Edmentum's courseware. So it offers flexibility, it offers creativity, and it offers engagement. And so implementing it um, is a whole nother matter. When you are working across countries and continents, it's so important, again, that we can have these the personalization tools. Um, there offers autonomy for our students to be able to work independently at their own pace. It also offers our tutors the ability to look ahead, pace the students themselves, and mark progress within these activities. Um, the assignments are challenging, but also manageable. And Camila can also speak to that as a teacher. We have previews and the capability of previewing and reviewing. Um, maybe Camila would like to talk a little bit about her experience as a teacher with implementing some of these. Thanks, Steph. So I'm so happy to be here uh, to talk about this amazing material, which allows uh, teachers to, let's say, co-create and also work in a very dynamic way during the classes. Uh, so when I am teaching my students, I really like the tools that Edmonton offers us because the students, are, they can see videos, they, they can watch videos, they can see images, the content, as Stephanie said, said, said before, is really clear. The platform itself is very intuitive. Uh, they can talk uh, with the, their teachers. Uh, the teachers, they send feedback to students so students are able to improve their work and send messages asking questions so these uh, the messages on the platform are great um, they have many tools for example during the tutorials to highlight the text uh, they have this slide narration and these kind of tools they are extremely important uh, to have a dynamic class so they can go back and forth. They can access, for example, other tools and then go back to the platform again. So uh, I like the dynamic of the classes. Uh, and something that for me as a tutor is really important is that Edmonton offers uh, some tools to, to keep track of what students are doing. For example, how many time they spend in each assignment, how many tries, we can see their grades. Um, the platform uploads all the time. So everything is always um, uploaded. You can see what is missing. Uh, you can see students uh, answers, so you can give them feedback so they can prove. Um, and it's important as well, the tools to, to, to keep track of their pace. So keeping track of their pace, you can support, you can give them a great support. What students uh, really understood, what they need to review. Uh, and it makes me feel really comfortable uh, because having access to these uh, tools, as a tutor, I can guarantee the effectiveness of the program and the quality of the program. And also, I feel that all my students' work are protected and also my work as well. Um, so definitely, uh, all the, the, the Edmonton material and the available tools, they match exactly uh, world that policies and, and way of working, let's say. I think that's it. Steph, you were muted. Stephanie. The success. So thank you, Camila. 
Um, and to just add on a little bit and dovetail uh, with what Camila is saying, a couple of wonderful aspects that I note are unusual um, or are almost exclusive to Edmentum are the review and return without a grade. Many um, LMSs that I've worked with in the past require you even to enter a zero before you can return it. Um, just for students' own um, sort of feelings and self-actualization, you know, there's something psychologically about seeing a zero versus versus some comments that say, let's give this another try, that makes a difference in the, in the outcome for, for how they do with their work. So that's one thing. In addition, as we said before, being able to co-create and create and add to the curriculum has just been wonderful for us. So we've been able to help our students adapt at a very high level, um, when students are getting a dual degree, um, they're working really hard. And it's very important that the curriculum has a high enough level that all of these standards are set and they help us to maintain those standards. Um, so maybe now we'll watch a video um, by Mrs. Crossan, one of our social studies teachers. Hi students, welcome to your government unit one activity. This is a really interesting unit activity that deals with the Constitution. There are a couple of parts to this activity. You need to answer the question, how do you think the Constitution could change? And also, how would these changes be implemented? So I would suggest that you approach this question in two parts. I would suggest that first, you think about the Constitution, read the Constitution, and try to think about the times in which the Constitution was written in. Think about the type of society that the Constitution was catering to back then. This was hundreds of years ago. Think about the progression that has been made throughout American society. Think about how our modern day society looks today. Does the Constitution still serve the needs of the people the way that it used to? So, in doing that, you should be able to think of some ways that you would maybe change the Constitution, things that you might add to it or take away from it. So that's the first part. This is just an example of how we the, the, the usage of the platform, the content allow us to personalize uh, some activities to our uh, main goals accord, according to the different, different cultures. So this is a video of our social studies teacher. Um, and about the future, I think Stephanie could go and, and say a little bit more. Right. Um, so the future is somewhat limitless uh, in, in our opinion, um, allowing us to personalize the curriculum for each country and all of the schools that we partner with allows us to expand not only our horizons, but the students' horizons. One of the things that we haven't really touched on yet is the fact that our goal is to expand the borders and promote global citizenship for our students. And we do this with critical thinking skills, with international projects, um, in which we bring together students from different countries, different continents, and merge their viewpoints to talk about matters that are going to be important to them in their future. So this requires a learning system, a curriculum and an LMS that will grow with us. And that's one of the best things about Admentum. It has really, really supported our growth thus far and it continues to support us. Um, again, as our students are working towards a dual diploma and we are working towards growing our student population and working with them, Edmentum has been growing with us. Um, I feel like the future is limitless, that there is so much potential that we have not even begun to address with the program, um, which is exciting. Um, especially when you're dealing in a modern, uh, you know, K through 12 education uh, in the time of a recent pandemic. Uh, we have learned so much this year and were it not for Edmentum's flexibility, the additional uh, tools that they continue to unlock, uh, such as we discussed the embedding of the videos, the being able to upload 
um, additional uh, tools. Oh, and the messaging via the platform, which allows us to make announcements uh, to everyone or selected students and allows them to even communicate with us uh, in a manner that is uh, protective and private for them and also allows us to get the messages with some expediency. So I think it's a wonderful partnership and we look forward to seeing uh, where it's going to go in the future. Yes, and I and it was wonderful everything you have said and I would like just to add a very important fact about Edmonton. Um, Edmonton uh, have improved even more uh, all of the tools and uh, of the, the platform during the pandemic. So there are a lot of tools that were not available, but once we, we were in a crisis in education in the entire world, uh, Edmonton allow us to be closer to our students, to create uh, new ways, new assignments, new activities. So uh, also it's something that uh, I think only a quality uh, LMS and uh, makes available to all of the partner schools. So thank you so much. And yeah, thank you very much to, to that lovely presentation. I have a, a couple of questions myself, actually, if that's okay to the, the panelists. Um, in regards to, you know, you, you talked about how the students um, who through the national curriculum, um, and that's that's you know, a thing that happens a lot in Latin America and across the Caribbean. Um, how or what have you noticed? Um, has it been like for the students to adapt to do, to using the the US curriculum? You know, how, how has that been for them? Those that have had to adapt. Juliana, do you want to take that, or do you want me to take it, or? You, you, you can say. Okay, okay. So I'm. I have sort of a unique um, perspective here because I've been an English teacher, including AP, uh, in America, and worked with curriculum for many, many years. So it's been wonderful to see how the students have adapted to. First of all, a, a curriculum that is all in English. Okay, um, it's definitely challenging. More challenging for some of our older students, maybe the 11th and 12th graders. Our sixth, seventh, eighth graders, even the ninth graders seem to take to it like a duck in water, so to speak. Um, they are little sponges and they really love the interactive nature, um, which really helps. I mean, the fact that they can listen, but there's the audio and they can actually listen and read along with the, the programs has really helped. Now, I will tell you that because of the challenging nature of the English language arts program in particular, um, the curriculum and some of the choices for reading are challenging. I mean, you know, it's it's not always easy for them to translate uh, necessarily a story, a story by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which is one of my favorites, um, when they're reading it the first time. But the tools such as the glossaries and some of the other um, learning questions really helps bridge that gap and, of course, allows us as teachers uh, to work with them. So the short answer to that is I think that they have navigated it very well. Um, again, the younger that they are when they join our program, I think, you know, the, the better that that works. Um, and it has allowed us to also kind of see, okay, it's very important that we have that vocabulary sometimes for some of these uh, lessons. Also making sure that they understand literary terms, which Edmentum does a great job of. You know, um, writing in Brazil is taught a bit differently, I've learned. Essay writing in America and in um, a lot of the Western countries is taught sort of that very that apes format you know you have your topic sentence you support and you conclude well and re research and you cite well these are things that aren't taught until a later date a lot of times in brazil their method of writing they still teach it it just comes in at a different point so they're learning a whole different way of writing and they're doing really well at it. And so Edmentum reinforces the importance of body paragraphs, topic sentences, um, vocabulary. Uh, so it's, it's really helped us. And I've seen as they go through the program, they get better and better. And that's what's really exciting. You know, when you finally see that proverbial light bulb go on, it's the best. That's, that's 
fantastic. Thank you. And in terms of feedback from parents, have you received any? And if you have, can you share that, what they thought about the way that you're using the content? Let me take that one as well, or do you want to take it, Juliana? Anybody yeah, anybody? I can say that about that. Um, it, the parents, they get really enthusiastic about how students improve their academic level um, for certainly when you when you talk about um, Latin America, the language, it is a, an issue to them. But um, after two months, three months emerging emerged on the Edmonton platform in our program, we also have uh, with our program, we have we have tutors. So the tutors also support the students throughout their, their journey. And the parents, they see the results really fast and the students, so to speak. So um, it's, it's a positive um, uh, feedback from the families. Right, that's fantastic to hear, yeah. Thank you very much. And just before I ask my last question from me, I'm just gonna go out to any panelists, not panelists, sorry, attendees, see if they may have any questions that they want to just throw in today. Um, but while we're waiting for those to come in, um, my last and final question really uh, for anybody who wants to answer was if you were to offer one piece of advice to anyone listening to this webinar when setting up virtual curriculum, what would that be? Well, I'll jump in. <laughs> Uh, my, my one piece of advice would to be to look for adaptability, to look for room to adapt and grow. That's the most important thing. You do not want a, a closed LMS or a closed curriculum because the world is a changing place. Um, even the world of literature, history, some things are set in stone, but we always wanna have that ability to adapt and, and, and grow and expand our horizons and the horizons of our students. Thank you. And we have had one question coming actually from Laura. So thank you, Laura. Um, and it's what kind of support did you get with the kind of setup um, and implementation with Edmentum and how, what, how easy was it to place in your school? Uh, I, can, I can jump in. So um, it's incredible, the support. Uh, first, we had Gareth, <laughs> who, uh, who is almost a, a friend now. He's always supportive, uh, any, any, through any system, could be by mail, Skype, WhatsApp, anything, he would always be there for us. Also, when we need to contact uh, the support system, it's amazing how fast uh, they answer all of our questions. So I would say 100%. We always receive the, the, the answer to our questions or the support to any technical uh, issue that we have. That's wonderful. Thank you very, very much. And um, yeah, ultimately, um, look, I just want to say a, a massive thank you. Um, oh, sorry, I do have another question just come in. Uh, did you find the support and the product was good during the pandemic? So this seems to be elaborating on the previous question. Thank you, Laura. Yes, uh, amazingly, because uh, I knew that Edmonton has grown a lot during the pandemic because lots of schools, they didn't have an LMS, they didn't have a system to support their students. So um, I knew that Edmonton was passing through a lot, but anytime, anywhere, I would have the best quality support. So yes, definitely. Fantastic. That's brilliant. I think that's it. Um, so thank you ever so much for um, putting together this presentation today. I know you've worked really hard on it, and you know, as, as you know, being the 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 person that manages the the territory, it's certainly something that we don't come across very often. So I want to say a massive thank you to you all, um, and to your teachers as well, like Camilla, who actually uses on a day to day basis. And thanks for joining us today, um, and I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you, James. Thank you. Nice to it's meet you. It's a all. pleasure. It's a pleasure. Thank you. I'm sure we'll Bye. Speak soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.